Even though Stephen Hawking is unfortunately no longer with us, the legacy of the brilliant astrophysicist lives on. The highly anticipated mission of the James Webb Space Telescope will be dedicated to some of the captivating theories of the late British scientist who died in 2018 in order to put them to the practical test. Among them is the thesis on which Hawking worked last before his death, a deepening of the gripping multiverse theory. We will now show you in detail what this exciting idea is all about and how the James Webb Space Telescope can contribute to proving the statements of the exceptional physicist. Want to learn more about the groundbreaking discoveries and mysterious spectacles in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to stay up to date from now on. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. A new chapter in space exploration. After years of delays and unimagined cost explosions, the time had finally come on December 25th, 2021. The James Webb Space Telescope left our blue home planet and set off on its journey into the gigantic expanses of the universe. The complex technical device reached its intended destination at a distance of about 900,000 miles, the so-called Lagrange Point L2 on January 24th, 2022. The planned use of JWST is nothing less than raising our knowledge of the formational processes in the cosmos to a completely new level. The focus will be on the search for the first luminous objects and galaxies formed immediately after the Big Bang and during the subsequent epoch, the so-called Dark Age. In other words, Words. The Space Telescope, which grew out of a collaboration between NASA, the ESA, and the Canadian CSA, will give us an authentic impression of how the universe presented itself 13.5 billion years ago. It will be a while before the device, named after former NASA Administrator James Edwin Webb, transmits the first groundbreaking research results to Earth. The meticulous calibration of the advanced components will still take several months. Provided everything goes according to plan, the most powerful space telescope of all time will begin its scientific observations in June of this year. Why experts expect nothing less than the dawn of a new chapter in space exploration with the deployment of James Webb becomes clear when we consider the precision with which the space telescope will operate. JWST will be up to 100 times more sensitive to electromagnetic waves than the Hubble telescope. Equipped with these technical capabilities, James Webb will be able to view the solar system from a completely new perspective, to look in detail into the innermost regions of star-forming regions, and to examine the material composition of exoplanet atmospheres more precisely than ever before. The instrument's capability to provide us with revolutionary insight into the past of the cosmos is due to the fact that it can analyze wavelengths from visible red light to mid-infrared light. Typically, the light emitted from distant, and therefore particularly old, regions of the cosmos is shifted into the infrared spectrum by cosmological redshift. Infrared is also emitted by cooler formations and can penetrate the interstellar gas and dust clouds in space much better than visible light rays. To ensure that the corresponding instruments from James Webb function smoothly at all times, they must in turn be kept extremely cool. In detail, it must be ensured that the components are permanently kept below negative 433 degrees Fahrenheit. This is made possible, among other things, by the imposing sun shield of the space telescope. As we can see, chances are that the JWST will reveal some previously unknown secrets of the universe in the near future. It's also possible that the complex instrument will bring us a step closer to answering one of the most central questions of modern space research. What is the actual structure of our cosmic home? Is there such a thing as the one universe at all? Or is our galactic home merely a tiny part of an unimaginably large overall construct. Let's take a look at the exciting approaches that Stephen Hawking and his colleagues put forward. Hawking's Legacy The last technical paper to which Hawking devoted his life was completed just days before the astrophysicist's death and published sometime later by the paper's co-authors. It's an article that presents an alternative solution to the loss of information in black holes. According to it, the missing information is in the photons near the event horizon of the compact gravity monsters. The last paper, again sent in by Stephen Hawking himself for publication, picks up his old no-boundary thesis for the birth of the cosmos. 
In detail, this exciting multiverse theory predicts eternal inflation accompanied by an infinite number of newly forming baby universes. As the term multiverse suggests, this assumption follows the approach that our universe, with all its galaxies and thousands and thousands of stars and other celestial bodies, does not represent the only cosmos, but embodies only a vanishingly small link in an infinitely large universe chain. Consequently, this theory also suggests that quite a few of these other universes are subject to their own physical laws, which differ drastically from the well-known patterns of our home cosmos. It becomes particularly exciting if we consider one aspect of this infinity of universes more exactly, because in fact, the multiverse theory also says that somewhere out there, each of us has a perfect double. Expressed in simple terms, where infinity prevails, everything exists that can exist, and this includes our body doubles. The inflation theory tries to explain how this unbroken process of constantly continuing production of new baby universes could have begun. This thesis describes a hypothetical event that took place when our cosmos had just come into existence. Within this fleeting period of time, the universe underwent a process of rapid expansion. It is commonly believed that the inflation of the universe ended about 14 billion years ago, but not everywhere at the same time. Thus, it's theoretically possible that our observable universe today comprises only a small region of space that has completed its inflationary phase transition, while inflation in the rest of space continues unbroken and forever. According to the hypothesis of chaotic inflation, small galactic nuclei are formed again and again in different regions of space, whose phase transitions are finally also terminated. In each of these germs, therefore, an independent universe arises. The Multiverse Theory Within such a scenario of eternal inflation, each individual universe would be endowed with its own unique physical laws, its own collection of particles, its own forces, and its own values for its natural constants. In the last phase of his creative period, Hawking devoted himself to the challenging undertaking of integrating this idea of a multiverse into a verifiable scientific framework. For this purpose, the exceptional physicist relied on string theory. Roughly summarized, this is a collection of hypothetical physical models that postulate the eponymous strings as fundamental objects with one-dimensional spatial expansion in space-time. Moreover, this branch of physics attempts to reconcile quantum physics with gravity and Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. Together with his colleague, Thomas Hertog, Hawking has now developed a new idea of eternal inflation, the essence of which is as follows. If we retrace the evolution of our universe, at a certain point, we reach the threshold of eternal inflation at which our familiar understanding of time no longer has any meaning. Starting from this ominous limit, Hawking's theory ultimately predicts a finite construct of universes. Should this thesis now prove true, this would mean that other universes could also have come into existence at this said point in time. In fact, even primordial gravitational waves could exist, consistent with the corresponding model for the inflation of the universe. The problem? How to scientifically prove the existence of other universes. The Search for Strange Universes since physicists still need more data and a better understanding of string theory to verify the theory just presented, it's necessary to search for other possible proofs of authenticity of the multiverse theory. As already briefly touched upon, the measurement of primordial gravitational waves could be a promising clue in this respect. However, other experts pursue a somewhat different approach to this. Once assumed, a neighboring universe would have come particularly near to our cosmos by chance a long time ago. Could it not have collided with our own universe and have left visible traces? Such an imprint could be noticeable in the form of distortions within the cosmic microwave background radiation. As a reminder, this is an almost isotropic microwave radiation that fills the entire universe and was created shortly after the Big Bang. We're already eagerly looking forward to the hidden secrets in the cosmos that will be unraveled by the use of James Webb and future space telescopes. Although the complex technical equipment has not even started its actual service yet, the ambitious project already has favorable beginnings. During the launch, the trajectory was more precise than required, and all firing phases were completed at the perfect time and with optimal results. For this reason, there are consequently also more fuel reserves left for the subsequent mission, which means that the originally planned operating period of 10 years will probably be significantly exceeded. Now it's your turn! What do you think about the exciting theory of the multiverse and the theses 
that Hawking elaborated. Are you also spellbound by the big secrets of the cosmos, which are to be revealed and decoded by the James Webb Space Telescope? Write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback to today's video in the comments. And if you're in the mood for more interesting articles on the topic of space, take a look at the other videos of our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.